about false prophets let us see first john 4 chapter first verse dear friends don't trust every spirit on the contrary test the spirits to see whether they are from god because many false prophets have gone out into the world many false prophets have gone out into the world many false prophets were in the world they are working in the world they are working under the satan they are the children of satan they are dearest kids of satan but they are acting like real apostles they are not real apostles they are false apostles they are false evangelists they are false shepherds they are false keepers they are false pastors everything is false false prophets their prophecies are false so don't entertain them into your houses second john first chapter seventh verse for many deceivers have gone out into the world yes god called them deceivers they are deceivers main deceiver is satan so these are deceivers they deceive the church they are deceiving the church they deceive the church people who don't acknowledge yeshua the messiah coming as a human being so they won't accept yeshua messiah is the son of god yeshua messiah is the son of man they won't accept they won't accept messiah was born as a human being such a person is a deceiver and an anti messiah so those who didn't accept messiah is the son of god or messiah was born as a human being that person is a deceiver and he is filled with the anti christ spirit those who remain true to his teaching have both the father and the son who must accept the father and the son but jehovah witnesses they won't accept to masia they give preference to father only they proclaim about jehovah they preach about jehovah all their magazine tracks everything filled with jehovah name we have no salvation to jehovah name jehovah didn't shed his blood jehovah sent his son yeshua so yeshua has a right to forgive our sins yeshua messiah is the son of god yeshua messiah is the redeemer of our sins he shed his precious blood young blood for us he was resurrected he will come again so priority was given to messiah yeshua messiah jesus christ some will teach about his mother mary mary is blessed woman we must respect her we must honor her but mary is not a god mary has no right to forgive our sins no baptism with the name of mary so don't believe that thing so many idols for mother mary throughout the world many people worship mary idols but the bible is not telling that is an idol worship equal to idol worship there is no need to worship mother mary idols this is also false if someone comes to you and does not bring this teaching don't welcome him into your home yes if anybody is is such kind of false teachings don't entertain them don't welcome into your houses don't give coffee tea don't give food don't give shelter don't start conversation with them don't listen their false preachings don't even say shalom don't say good morning good afternoon praise the lord or shalom to false prophets for the person who says shalom to him shares in his evil deeds if you say shalom to any false prophet you will share his evil deeds you will receive curse god will curse blessings will gone anti spirit will occupy your house false prophets anti spirit will enter in your house so don't entertain any kind of false prophets false evangelists false apostles false pastors are false believers in your houses it is not apt don't talk with them don't listen their teachings this is the warning from god bible is saying clearly about the false prophets identify who is false prophet who is real prophet satan has satan sent so many false prophets into this world they are working in the churches they are working in the ministry false prophets are working in seminars so many books they have written so don't believe all spirits don't believe all pastors all evangelists believe only those who are anointed by god so these people these false prophets they won't hand him divorce cinemas vulgar language homosexuality gay marriages 
and sin idol worship also they will eat idols food they won't condemn it so whatever bible said please listen carefully be blessed to the church god bless you